What's going on guys? It's your boy Seagod. Starting today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of some coilover action on my E36 Vert. And I'm going to have a little bit of help from my son Tata. Hi. And we're going to go ahead and knock this stuff out, you know. So here we got our good old cheap eBay coilovers. So we're going to go ahead and get cranking on them. Here, watch out, Tata. So here we have them. Yeah. As you can see, they're cheap eBay units. Yep. Max peating rods. You gotta love it. You guys know what's good. About 300 bucks gets you rolling on these. See, look, and then they even send you these which I'm not going to be using because I'm a hoe. We got the springs for the rear. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Yeah, so yeah. Focus on performance, my guys. So here we have them. I did get the uh, dampening adjustable Johns just to make it that much more ghetto fabulous. But yeah, so I'm going to have help from these guys going to be putting them on the E36 Vertskis. As you can see, we got the top down on old girl. Yeah. Give you guys a little bit of a view of the interior here. She's pretty nice, I'll tell you what. She's pretty gosh darn nice. Got the tag on her. Yep. Waiting on it. But yeah, guys. Yep. And, uh, we have actually already received payment on the old Lincoln here. I'm yep. um, going to clean it up, wait for transport, come pick it up. And this thing will be going to its new owner in New Zealand. So yeah, we have somebody in New Zealand who's going to be repping my shit out here. Alright, Tata. Go get a brick from over here. Put it underneath the tire right there. Okay, very good. Pull the jack over there now. Pull it back behind the BMW. And you hold the camera? Make sure you hold it good, okay? Stop jacking up the car. Yeah. Push down on it hard. Keep going. Go up. Okay. That's all we should need. There you go. There. Take it off. Do I do more? Yeah. Put it on the next one, but make sure it's all the way on, okay? All the way on? Yeah. Hold it tight, okay? Do more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, I'll hold it on there. You can hit the trigger. Okay? Go. Go. Like that. Hard. Hard. Press all the way. Press all the way. There, 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 there. there, there, there. You see how that worked? Yeah. Here, now do the next one. Next one. Alright, alright, alright. Do this one. 
Yeah. All right. We did. I did one. I did them good. Yeah. I got. We got this one. Okay. Yeah, now I don't want to come out. Hold the camera. Okay, do I do it that? No, just hold the camera for now. I just need to get this thing out. You need to get this thing out. Okay, let's go to the other side. Yeah. Here. I know. And you're going to do the same thing on this other side. Yeah, go. Hit it hard now. There you go. Keep going now. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold it good though, okay? Alright, you want Alright. Now take that one out and put it on the next one. Yeah, make sure it's all the way on though before you before you press it, okay? I don't know how to do it all the way Yeah. Put it all the way on it again, it didn't come out. No, I didn't. Put it. It was that one? Yeah. Go all the way on first before you put it on. There. Is it all the way on? Yeah. Yeah. One more. One more? Yeah. Make sure it's all the way on, though. There you go. Uh oh. Push it all the way on. Push it on there hard. Uh oh. Here, put put the impact back on it. Let me see. Yeah. There. Go. Hit it. Hit it hard. Okay, there. And there we go. We got the. We got that. We got that on. Off. Yeah. Do we need more up there? No. Now we're gonna take the tires off and. Looks like they're kind of on there, so we're going to do a little ghetto kick on it. Daddy. Wait, it, it could come off now? Yeah. Oh. Why are we taking it off? Because we're going to put coilovers on it, you know? Uh, that's why, because... Yeah, see, so now we got the... Cool? Yeah, exactly. So they'll come down here, Miho. Look, you see in here? You remember the black piece you had? We're gonna put it here. Yeah. We're gonna take this one out, go and we're gonna it? change this too. You want me to go get it? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get it. I put it in the box. I, I... Okay. Is it always in here? Yeah. See, we're gonna need that. Yeah. And we're gonna need this. Yeah. We need that. And these are both gonna go on that How side. Do I that one, we'll put it on after we take the shock off, okay? After the shock off? Yeah. Okay. Do I put this thing on the floor? Yeah, you can put it on the floor for now. Okay. For now? Yeah, we still got to modify them. So, what I'm going to do right now, off mm -hmm. camera, I'm going to uh -huh. get the shock, yep. and I'm going to make sure we are tight on the top nut here. Uh-huh. Because that seems to come loose, and then I'm going to thread this as far up as I can to make the shock height as small as possible. Right yeah, it's gonna go right there. Go right there. So yeah, here we got this nice big shock, and we're gonna be replacing this little puny shock in yeah. here. Give me a thumbs up, Tata. Yeah, see, from the man himself, we're yeah. putting it in there. Give me a high five. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna do that, and we're probably gonna take a little a little break also because it's kind of hot, and this yeah. man needs some water, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. So we're gonna take a break, and then we'll be right back for you guys. <laughs> okay. You ready to get that shock out of there, Mijo? Grab the shock out of there. Where? We've removed the bottom bolts and the top bolts. The shock right here. The that one. This one? Yeah. Remove it out of there, please. Yeah, take it out. You could just put it right here. So, this was the old gross John. And this is the new John we're about to put in here now. Yep. So, yeah, guys, Max Peating Rods. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They just make cheap coils that are kind of cheap. Yep. But they kind of work, huh, Tata? Yep. Yeah, that's what we want, huh? Yeah. Cheap, but it works. Okay. 
So from here, um, look, Tata, I'm gonna need you to come over here. I'm gonna step on this right here, uh -huh. and then you're gonna pull the spring out. Okay, you're gonna pull this one out. You ready? Okay. How, where do I put? How do I put it out? Just pull it out, okay? Okay. There, yeah. get it out. Pull it. Pick it up. Pick it up. You see how it's gonna come out? No. Pull it out from the bottom. Where? Right here? Yeah, pull it out. Right here, watch out. Let me try it. Do I need to do this? No, here, hold the camera. Hold the camera? Yeah, I'll see if I can help you out. You can see how you help me out? How did I put that in there? Who put that in there? Who put I don't that know. in there? Oh, maybe the guys help work for that car? Yeah, could be. See? Maybe. Hold on, you're still recording. Okay, so here you have it, guys. Got the old spring out. This is the new spring that's going to go in. So as you can see, a little bit of a difference. Um, I don't honestly know if I want to reuse these little bottom thingies. But I'm probably not going to. So as you can see, our shit just sits in there real ghetto. Yeah, so it's not even touching the top part of it. But we're gonna go ahead and put the struts in now. Where put that in now, Daddy? Uh oh, can you find that? We might have to move the wheel. I'll find it, okay? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Is this one the same thing? Okay. Uh oh, here, let me see them. Okay, so here we have them. And there they are. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Can you hold this in there, though, mijo? Reach in there and grab it and just pick it up. Pick it up. Reach in there and hold it. Yeah, hold it with both hands and just hold it up. So you see how it wants to fall? Just hold it up so Daddy can put nuts on it. Okay. You got it? Okay, you have it? Grab it from the bottom maybe. No, from right here. Look, well, hold on, let's put it back in. Grab it from down here where I have it. Where you have it? Yeah. Okay. With both hands, just pick it up, okay? You got it? Yeah. Pick it up very hard, very, very, very hard. Go. Okay, Mio, you can let it go. Good job. I was hurting it. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I didn't let go. No, you did good. Hmm? You did good? Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need a D13. guys so there you have it I got the top installed now all right now we got it all worked out what it done? almost doing that? we need the strut to come all the way up So that we could put a bolt in it. Okay, now we're able to put the bolt in it here. up just a tad too much. How you call all this dirty stuff on your house? I don't know. Huh? 
How you got this black stuff on your hand like this? That I don't know either. How do you have toes in love? How ready? Okay. Now we grab our trusty impact. Here, Mejo, can you hold this for me, please? And just look at where I'm at, okay? We'll get this tightened up. And look, I'm, I'm looking at where you are, Daddy. Okay. Tad violent, right? Oh, look at right there. Okay. Now that's how high it should be. That right there, puppy, is what we call that sweet and low. Yeah. That shit was sweet and it's about to be low. Okay, puppy, yeah, you're gonna tighten it up. There you go. There you go. That's how you install coilovers with the boys. Oh yeah. Am I doing it right? Oh yeah. Look, we got this little spring over here all compressed and whatnot. You guys know the life. Yeah, Buppy, right now. Oh, here, put it back on. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Just keep gripping it and ripping it, Tata. I think it's almost tight. You got it tight? Yeah. Pretty tight. Yeah, good job, good job. Here, watch out. I'm gonna tighten it myself, and then we'll take the yak off. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so now, just need to put the wheel back on. What about this? Um, Should we see the wheel back on? All right. Are we all done? Whoo! Are we done now? The only thing we have left, we're gonna put this little cover back on the top of this gun. Hold on, man. So the little cover kind of just pops in. Now I'm fucking it up. But yeah, guys, it's really hot out here to be doing this. So yeah, there we have it. We're going to go ahead and let the top down. Alright. Okay, so we got the car lowered now. Um, should most definitely tuck wheel after we set it all the way down. But I'm going to have to jack it back up from the rear diff and then take the jack stands out. So, yeah. All right, guys. So there you have it. <laughs> I could honestly probably rock it like that. This is what we got so far, Poppy. What do you think? The front still needs to go lower, I know. The back could honestly go lower too, huh, mijo? What do you think? You all sweaty, huh? It's a hot one out here, guys. Done, though. But we're out here too. About to have a slammed verdi, boys. All right, guys. So now that we're done with the back, we're gonna go ahead and hop on the front real quick. So stay tuned. Whew. All right, guys. So we got it uh, pretty much knocked out. We're done with the rear, the fronts. I got the coilovers here, and as you can see, I've already ghetto fied them. And uh, yeah, by that I mean we've taken out all of these unnecessary lock collars. We got them completely set to negative cambies. 
So that's ready to go. I always tighten this nut up because the people, great people from Max Peating Rods sometimes slack on it or it's not very tight and it comes loose and starts jangling and shit. But yeah, so here's what it looks like. Um, it is just the regular E36 coil um, ready to go in. Preloaded the spring a bit more than factory. Removed the lock collars, put the shock mount all the way up. So as you can see, I do have this spacer John here. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I already knocked out the driver side. And whenever I did the driver side, it uh, the wheel was touching the coil over, so we slapped on the one inch Johns. So now this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Something like that there. Um, hopefully it does go lower once we set the car down because this is kind of whack, but it'll do for now I'm not really complaining too much The rear damn near tucks wheel almost but yeah, so yeah, we got this side knocked out got the one inch spacer on it already um, We can still add some washers to camber this but we're not going to for now Unless we have to that is so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this side because as you can see it is a much much different um, height so yeah we'll go ahead and get the other side knocked out real quick it's very simple so pretty much you got this one bolt that goes through here it goes through there and has a nut it holds it to the knuckle and there's two other bolts that are right here bolting it to the knuckle and then the three on the top so it's very easy work um, I'm gonna just go ahead and knock it out and uh, set the car down and bring you guys back so yeah, let me go ahead and get this, you know, little slave work in. I'll bring you guys back. So, hopefully we do clear. Looks like it's going to be close. Yeah, we're like sitting on something. Oh, fuck. Alright, guys. So the way to do this... Pretty much just set a block of wood underneath of it. So here you have it. Slide the block of wood underneath her. Okay. Now we got the wood under. See if old girl give me my jack back now. Oh yeah, just barely gave me my dang jack back, boys. So here we got our slammed vert. Looks like I'm gonna have some problems off the bat, boys. Cool. Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down right quick. Hopefully give you guys a nice angle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take her off the blocks. Okay, so yeah, we got her sitting down all the way on the floor now. However, um, old girl don't really want to turn or anything like that. As you can see, real tight on the figments. Um, yeah, so she's not going to turn. But it does look pretty gosh darn sick though. Tell you that much. Just got a slammed ass E36 ID. Very cool. But uh, yeah, so damn. Yeah. Might uh, need to make some adjustments. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so yeah guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably raise the front coilovers just a hair because she's not having it as of right now. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to do. But um, 
yeah so my son got tired he's inside the house though or whatever you know he's just tired it is what it is um we got the coilovers knocked out the coilover job is done from here we have some filming issues that i'm gonna have to work out but um other than that that's that's about where we're at so i'm gonna go ahead and jack the front of the car back up and uh yeah i'm gonna have to raise it up a little bit until i fit my other wheels but yeah damn she does look damn good though i tell you what very nice but uh yeah so this is gonna be the end of this video i had my son helping me thanks to him for helping me out we got it all knocked out um we're gonna have to fit some wheels next coming up so stay tuned for that make sure to like comment subscribe stay tuned to the channel got plenty of other stuff coming up as i said earlier lincoln's already sold she's already gone stay tuned this is you got checking out all right guys so i'm gonna give you a quick little walk around of old girl so this is what she ended up looking like as you can see it sits decent in the back it's like just about a tuck wheel in the front i did raise it um it was at least an inch because i was having problems turning <laughs> but yeah as you can see now should be gas um once we get another wheel set up then we'll be able to go lower but for right now this is what she looks like still very decent i'd say and uh got a fully automatic top which is pretty whack but uh i threw a torx bit on my drill so i'm able to drop it and pick it up real fast you know just real fast and easy so now it's kind of cool having a soft top um i got something in store for y'all though stay tuned guys this is gonna be the end of the video for real i'll catch y'all later deuces